Oh man, I got a scratch in my glasses. These are my favorite glasses, man. I get some scratch remover or something. Anyway, oh by the way, the fan is really loud. It's hot as hell in here, so hopefully you guys can hear me all right over the fan. But yeah, anyway, okay, I got a little story to tell. Yesterday, I was at the gym. You know, lifting some weights. I usually try not to go to the gym because I really don't like being around people like that. But yesterday, I decided, hey, I want to lift a little bit of weights. So I'm lifting, and in comes a woman. Now, this woman, she's a, actually she's a personal trainer at the gym, and I've seen her before. I've seen her one time, and that one day I saw her, she was constantly staring at me. And I can tell she's a very extroverted, social type of person. She kept on staring at me. And I can tell was probably trying to, you know, lock eyes and make eye contact. And when I say she was staring at me, that's not me trying to say, oh, she was into me. She was checking me out. It's just, you know, she seems like a really friendly, just extroverted talking to person. Plus, she works at the gym. She's a personal tra trainer. So she's just probably trying to be familiar with people. Plus, that type of gym, a lot of a lot of people like to talk to everyone. You know, they're, they're, it's one of those types of gyms. Everyone likes to be familiar. Familiar, familiar with each other. But me, the very first time I saw her, I was wearing sunglasses and I had on big ass headphones. Now, oh man, dude, come on. Well, why are you wearing sunglasses? Said, dude, shut up. Shut up, dude. Listen, I like sunglasses. I'm a fly guy. That's my style. That's my style, bro. Hey, you might like wearing khakis. You might like wearing um, bandanas and uh, leather jackets and earrings and uh, nice shoes and Jordans and Air Force. I don't know whatever the style is. These days, I don't care. I just focus on my style. But yes, I wear sunglasses at the gym. I got big ass headphones at the gym. The reason I wear sunglasses at the gym is because it's my way of maintaining privacy. I really don't want, when I'm at the gym, I don't really like to talk to anybody. And by wearing sunglasses, it kind of puts up a barrier. It kind of keeps people from being all in my grill. I don't like people staring at me, eyeballing me, and trying to lock eyes, you know? So it's my way to kind of put a, put a wall up, you know? So the first time around, I can still tell, even when I had the shades on, she was trying to make eye contact, but it wasn't working. But this time around, I fucked up, man. I, I, I slipped. I forgot my shades, man. I, I can't believe I forgot my shades, you know? And I forgot my headphones as well. So I was working out and stuff, you know? And then I go to the rack, like a dumbbell rack, and she casually, she takes off her headphones, you know, she says, oh, she says, she says, hi, um, by the way, you know, because like, actually she was writing something down on the board. I guess she was, you know, writing out a lesson plan or something for her, the people that she trains, she hosts classes. She says, hi, um, I just want to let you know that, you know, when I'm writing on the board, you know, that's not for you guys or anything, you know, just don't worry about it. I don't want to confuse you, you know, it just, yeah, it's not for you. You don't have to worry about it. I'll say, you know, you know, me being polite, I'll say, no, Lord, no, no, I understand. No, it's all good. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no problem. I understand. You know, cool. You know, and then we went about our way. I went to the dumbbell rack, grabbed my dumbbells, whatnot. Boom, boom, bring them back, start lifting. You know, and it was kind of quiet. And mind you, it was no one in this uh, weight room area at the time. It was, there was pretty much no one there. So I decided to pull out my, my Bluetooth. I got a little Bluetooth. I forgot my headphones. Pulled out the Bluetooth, threw on some old school, uh, um, early 2000s. Rock and roll, um, some listen to some trap, some headstrong, you know, some breaking Benjamin. You know, that's the kind of stuff that gets me high. I love that music, you know. And I'm, you know, I'm working out doing push-ups, and then, you know, I'm looking at her face, and you know, she's got her headphones, and then she, you know, eventually she takes off her headphones and says, um, hey, hey man, um, do you have earbuds? I said, Oh no, I'm sorry, is that just bothering you? She's like, and she kind of gave me some weird ass look, like you fucking crazy type of looking bitch, man. She gave me some kind of look. But I was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I can turn it down. It's about her. She's like, yeah, like, I'm trying to listen to my podcast. It's drowning my podcast out. I was like, oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn it down and turn it off, you know. And then we went about our ways. But it was the way she did it, man. She kind of, you know, she kept it at that. And she was, you know, it's like, it kind of gave me one of these, like, weird ass, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? I don't even know you. And you coming at me like that, you know what I mean? But... Being cool about it, I say, all right, fine. Now, mind you, I want to, and the reason I'm so um, amped about this is because I've been to this gym several times and I've had my Bluetooth out. It's one of those types of gyms, especially when no one's in the working out, like the, the uh, weight room area. A lot of people have been cool with me playing my music. Actually, I've gotten a lot of compliments. They say, man, I love the music. A lot of people love the music that I play. And a lot of other personal trainers at the gym love the music that I play. I've gotten so many compliments on it. So I was like, all right, I don't think this lady will have a problem with, with it. 
Turns out she did. You know what I mean? Now, some of you probably say, well, dude, that's rude, man. You know, pariah, come on. You can at least ask the woman. No, shut the fuck up, dude. You don't understand the dynamic of the gym. It's not one of those types of gyms. Let me tell you something. This gym, it's, it's, it's always hosting all kinds of events. You got people skateboarding all through the fucking gym. You got people blasting music and doing dare, dancing, salsa. It's one of those types of gyms. It's a lot of, it's like, almost like a circus, you know? So, me playing um, my music on a Bluetooth isn't out of the ordinary. It's always crap like that going on. Plus, usually, they have music blaring <clears throat> in the facility all the time. I had to stop real quick. My phone was letting me know it's about to um, stop recording. But anyway, like I said, what was I saying? All right, this... People are always doing loony shit in this gym all the time. I say loony because most people will interpret it as loony, but really it's not. It's just it's that kind of gym. It's a vibrant gym. People are just doing all kinds of stuff all the time. Like I said, this gym is always blaring music all the time anyway. So if she has a problem with my music, on most days, I'm pretty sure she probably has an issue with the entire gym playing the music on the on the speakers in the gym as well. She don't she ain't complaining about the the, that to the other people to her co-workers or nothing you know but anyway I dropped it you know alright so I did the lift in working out and then she you know she's still looking at me staring at me and stuff so I, I, you know, I got tired of it I went upstairs and I said and um by the way I was bench pressing too I had I had a bar built on the bench press and I was you know just repping out some bench presses when I but I got tired of it so it's like alright I'm gonna go upstairs and hit the punching back for a little bit I'm sick of being around this lady all right, I go up there. I'm rocking a punching bag. I'm getting my workout in. Ten minutes later, this bra comes up again, and now she's doing her little workout pretty much right where I'm hitting the punching bag. She's pushing some kind of um, um, thing where you can put weights on it and you can push it for like working your legs and stuff like that. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Did it get away from me? Anyway, uh, she she gets out of my way eventually because I was like pacing going I was just basically trying to you know give the vibe like man like can we get some space here or not so she eventually she goes back downstairs I start hitting the back again she comes back upstairs and like another ten minutes later her hair is down and she says oh excuse me um are you gonna re wreck the are you gonna, were you using those that dumbbell down there not the dumbbell but the barbell down there. I was like, no, I'm done with it. Oh, okay, well, can you please just make sure you put it back? I mean, you didn't strike me as the type that will, you know, have to tell this to or whatever, you know. And now, now I'm getting pissed off, you know what I mean? This lady talking to me again, you know. And when she's saying all of this, it's showing in my face. I got a very stoic face. And every time she's saying some, something, I'm like, gotcha. Gotcha. You can't see my mouth when I got this damn mask on. But, you know, if you, if you, you saw my face, it was very stoic, very... Dead pan. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. You know, you know, I didn't say nothing else to her, and she walked off. Back of my head, fuck off. Let me blow me. Blow me. I ain't re wrecking shit. She said, oh, now, now let, me, let me just kind of expound on this. She asked me to re wreck a barbell. Now, I understand that most gyms, the etiquette, the gym culture is to re wreck your weights, right? If, you're, if you have some weights, put them back on a rack, which is what I did earlier. I had dumbbells. I put the dumbbells back. Now, I didn't I didn't put the um the barbell back. I actually got the barbell from the barbell rack and I was used it for the bench press, but I never put the uh the bar, the barbell back. I just left it there. Now, most people don't have a problem with that kind of stuff. What most people bitch about is leaving weights on the barbells. That's what most people bitch about. Not the barbell being there. And, I, and just, you know, just to kind of uh, go off topic, even if I did leave the fucking weights on the fucking bar, yo, so the fuck what? I don't care. I know most people got a problem with that, but guess what? And, uh, you know, old school gyms, you be got to pick up plates and pick up all kinds of shit you know, all, all the time. All this, oh, put your weights back shit. You know, I can understand that if I was deadlifting like a, like a few weeks ago, I was deadlifting four or five. Now, I put all the place, I took all the place off the barbell because who wants to walk up to a barbell with four plates on each side and have to take up all the weights? You're tripping over the barbell. So I can understand something like that. But a situation where you're at the bench press and maybe there's like, a, like maybe um, a 45, no, 45 on each side. It, come on, shut the fuck up. It ain't that big of a deal. Usually, I do try to put the weights back, but you know, sometimes maybe uh, I might forget or whatever. You know, and I can understand about it. I'm not that nitpicky about weights. If I see two forty-five pound weights on a fucking barbell, 
yo, I'll take it off or just shit the shit myself. And you know, oh, it's cool, it's convenient. And I seen this lady too. I seen her scrub ass students. Most of your students, most of the people you train, they scrubs. They weak as fuck anyway. I, yo, I was doing them a favor by keeping them fucking, uh, by keeping the uh, barbell on that shit. Yeah, that's right. Now they got a workout. They working their ass off even more. They you know, most of them weak as fuck anyway. So hey, I was doing the right thing by making it harder for them. Yeah, they, they let them lift a little a bar or two. Let them lift an extra weight or two. Fuck out of here. And, and, and again, I'm gonna say this. I, it was only a barbell. I actually remember to rewrite the, the 45s. It was four is a 45 on each side. It was just a barbell that's sitting there. And she talked about re-rack the barbell. Then bitch, you can rack my barbell down your throat. How about that? Talking about re-rack the barbell. She's like, next time, next time you finish, um, um next time you finish lifting, re-rack the barbell. You know, re-rack the barbell next time you finish lifting. Hey bitch. Well, and, 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 hey, and rack my dumbbell down your throat next time you finish talking to me. Shit, blow me. I ain't re-racking shit. Re-rack the barbell. You crazy. And what gym are people in? I don't know. I, I've been to a lot of gyms before, but that was never gym etiquette or culture is to re-rack or you put up a fucking barbell. Usually, most people are happy to see the barbell on the bench or see a barbell in the squat rack. Like, nobody want to sit around and, and search for a fucking barbell. Like, where's the barbell? No, fuck that, dude. I ain't re-racking a fucking barbell. Slap my barbell down your throat. Yeah. Next time you want a barbell re-racked, rack the shit up your ass, bitch. I ain't re -rack. I ain't racking shit. And, you know, to rewind, when she was telling me or asking me to uh, put the barbell back up, you know, I gave her the, oh, I got you. I got you. She walked her ass, I ain't touched shit. As soon as she walked away, I kept that shit right on the fucking rack. I ain't touching shit. And I also want to say this. When you don't know someone and you're talking to them for the first time, be conscious of how you approach them. Like, for all, for all she knows, I can have a good track record of keeping the gym nice and tidy. You know, like, I can see... If she knew me and I had a track record of constantly fucking up the gym, leaving the gym in, like in like in a big mess, then okay, I can understand coming at me the way she did. But the picture don't know me. She made a comment. She said, she said you didn't strike me as the type. Strike you as what? Lady, I don't even know you. How can I strike you as anything? You know what I mean? Like, go back to the Bluetooth situation. You know how she said, oh, you know, she could have approached that totally different. She could have said, um, excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you, but you might turn it down a little. It's hard for me to hear my podcast. You know, it's awesome music, though. You know, I love that stuff, too, or it sounds cool. But, you know, you know, something like that, you know, approach it that way in an amicable way. You know, you're you're making a request, but you're not coming off like just a, a negative, like a fussy. A, that's how she was coming off. You know, she was like, just coming off like a naggy, fussy, hyper-liberal soccer mom. You know what I'm saying? One of them hyper-liberal, fussy, nagging, you know, van, wet, van driving soccer moms. Come on, man. Don't talk to me up right yeah, You know what I'm saying? You know, so it's a way you go about, um, you know, approaching people too, you know? But yeah, that's just like my little uh, rant on the subject. God damn, you know what I'm saying? Rack, rack the waist next time you, you finish. I'll rack my dick down your throat. Next time you finish talking to me, fuck out of here. Ah, oh, God, I hate people.